my name is Glenn Dyer, and you were watching a dire situation. Today I'm going to be seeing Pitch Perfect 2. Lucky me. I never saw Pitch Perfect 1. That's because that was it, that movie came out when I had a limited budget. I was I was seeing about the same types of movies. You know, like superhero films and all. I was doing dire situations at that point. But I just remember the slogan of that movie being, Get Pitch Slapped. And that made me... That made me so... Depressed. I... I did not like that slogan. That, that was a very... Stupid... Slogan. And uh, this movie has that slogan too. Uh, the posters say, Get Pitch Slapped. Uh... Whenever I hear clips from the first movie, they make me groan. Whenever I see the trailer for this movie, it makes me groan. <sighs> to me, this is sounding like one of those really bad chick flicks. <laughs> okay? Because, you know, I've already seen Age of Adeline and uh, The Longest Ride, but... <sighs> uh, uh. At least this isn't a romantic comedy, but, oh boy, this is, uh, not looking forward to it. This is, uh, oh man. I do not think it's going to be very funny, especially, so, you know. I can't say that I that I didn't think the first movie was funny because I've never actually seen it, only clips of it. But uh, I really don't think this one's gonna be funny at all. So I don't know, maybe I'll be surprised it's happened. Maybe it'll be worse than I thought that's also happened. So I'll tell you which it is in the in about five seconds. Lucky bastards. That was okay. Um, essentially, this movie is a traditional sports um, sports movie formula mixed with a bit of Seth MacFarlane humor. That's the gist of it. So yeah, essentially, it's a team of underdogs. I'm guessing the first movie they were also a team of underdogs, and in this movie they start off at the top, but but then an incident that was in all the trailers uh, made it so they're underdogs again. You know, just resetting everything because that's easier than writing an original story. So, um, yeah, you know, underdogs, there's a big bad team that they have to f defeat in order to achieve glory. They meet them a few times but lose each time and then somehow they gain hope and... Somebody brings forth a new idea and it works and everybody's saved and it's all happy, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that and clearly the, mo the movie didn't either. So, yeah, it mostly does down to the humor. And as I mentioned, kind of Seth MacFarlane-like. Like, just kind of things that come out of nowhere. Like, oh, what's a good example here? Um... Uh, like, there, there was... Oh, yeah, like... He's, like, one guy's talking to this lady he likes, and he says, I want to cut you in half like a rabbit. And he's a magician. And it's just kind of out of nowhere and weird and all that. But kind of funny. Definitely way better than Paul Blarmol Cop 2. This movie has jokes. Personally, if I'm just going straight from a guy, I didn't like it. But that's more just because it's not my style of humor. As a movie, it's okay. Could be better. Uh, it's not a very original story. Characters are kind of... Most of them are just kind of one-dimensional. But, um, there's a few good jokes in there. Uh, and the a lot of songs in this acapella music, which sounded pretty dang good, I must admit. 
Um, I'm not usually into that sort of stuff. I hated the show Glee. I watched one episode of that and I just despised it. But this was actually alright, at least in my opinion. So, yeah, if you're... I can't say for sure since I never saw it, but I would figure if you like the first one, you'd like this one too. And if... I don't know if you're into that kind of... if you're into that kind of thing, like, uh, great song covers, or, um, just that kind of Seth MacFarlane-ish humor, um, though not nearly as bombastic as Seth MacFarlane would be, more, a little more subdued than that, um, yeah, give this movie a try. It's, it was okay. Do not come for the story, it's nothing you haven't seen before, you can kind of guess what's going to happen story-wise, almost at the beginning. <laughs> but doesn't matter. The movie doesn't care about it. You shouldn't care about it. Don't worry. Uh, and until next time, I am Glenn Dyer, and you have been watching a dire situation. Uh -huh.